Right, hello everybody and welcome to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft and today we are currently in Rothley, Rothley Castle? Yes. Rothley Castle, okay, up in Northumberland, absolutely stunning location this. Um, we're just deciding uh, on which part we're going to dust for the night but just come out the way from the castle itself because there's quite a lot of uh, dual public around and it's only early like if anybody can see me watch it say it's two o'clock but it's it's broke so i kind of change it every year when the time changes but anyway um yeah we've we've come out for a, 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 a cheeky one nighter um we've just got like um our snug pack on us for your uh, bivy bags and tops so we're ground dwelling today uh, i've got a nice bit of food i've got some nice steaks and potato and mushrooms and onion and some uh, nice bit of sauce to go on it and a couple of beers and a nice hip flask full of Jack Daniels and a my traditional Bailey's hot chocolate sounds like a lot of that doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. but anyway I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the intro into the video I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to waffle too much in this video but we'll see how it goes all right so we're just sitting here we're gonna chill out for an hour and um, I'm gonna have a cup of tea in that and discuss what options for where to come and how to come. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. And that's my mate Rooney, by the way. <laughs> Little hand. <laughs> Little hand. The plane, the plane. <laughs> Right, well, we've been having a little mooch around, having a look over a little area where we're going to see, uh, set up for the night. Obviously, it's still early, it's, it's only half past four, so I'm going to have myself a nice um, potato and leek cup of soup. And I think I've got a nice little tin. Rooney's, Rooney's going to make faces now, like, because I've got some uh, sardines, so I'm going to have some sardines as well with me cup of soup. I might even mix the sardines in the cup of soup. No, I wouldn't do that, like, but Rooney doesn't like, like things like that, but I do. It's a nice little energy boosting snack. And I think I'm going to get these boots off and put me, uh, me comfy shoes on, because my feet are sweating in these Gore-Tex boots in this weather kills your feet, like. But anyway, as you can see, I've brought it back out for the first time in a year, my little Seat of Summit uh, kettle stroke pot. So, uh, happy days, like. And my bergen was still 24 kilos but that's that's not been on long that like uh, about about a minute and it's boiled already
Tonight, as you can see, the sun's starting to set now. It's uh, 20 past seven, so it's starting to come down. Still got a bit to go though. So me and Rooney are all set. That's going to be what viewing uh, platform tonight and what kitchen and social area. And coming along, I've brought the army bash hour of the day and me snug pack Onosphere bivy bag. Um, inside of there, I've got my firmer rest. I've got a new pillar, which is a Trekology pillow. I'll show you later on. And me free season sleeping bag. I'm probably going to be red hot in there because it's absolutely boiling. And I've done it at an angle because we're due some rain on the... Looking at the uh, weather forecast, we're due some rain about four o'clock. So if I need to get out, obviously with the zip being on the right hand side and I want to face that way okay as the sunrise comes up around about there um so that's why i'm facing that way for rooney's up on the top so i'll quickly run you up there and just show you here's quick setup rooney's got the snug pack on his sphere with him as well but he's got this new top which uh is absolutely amazing like and rooney's got his set up like so he you also set it up in a, a tent formation, which was really, really good. It was a low profile tent position, but it was a good little uh, setup. But he's went for the view, the view factor like. So he's up on the top. Nice breeze up here actually compared to down there. So, but I crack and set up that Rooney like. I like that mate, that's spot on. Yeah, aye, definitely aye. It's the first time I've used the army basher for a long time, like, um, and just thought I've got it, I need to start using it a bit. But I think I'll start using it on a few stealth camps in some uh, woods that are quite little but close to the population, so I'll probably do that in any way. As you can see, I've got my uh, power bank getting there uh, charged up by a solar panel there. And uh, let's take my stand over. So, so for the drinks tonight, I've opened uh, a Kronberg uh, 1664. I've got another two there. I've got a can of Coke to go with me Jack Daniels. And then I've got a Bailey's for me hot chocolate later on. All my food and all my drink and all that's in drink pouches and all that are in here i've got two steaks some potatoes some onion and some mushrooms with a peppercorn sauce so and i've got a frying pan there as well this week so i'll be able to do them properly over there while you're sitting looking out looking at that and harwood woods is just is it that one there mm -hmm. hi the the big the big bit going over the brow, that's that's where we were the other week in Harwood Woods. That aye, that one there, aye. That's that one there, man. On the brow. Yeah. Yeah, all that way. That's all Harwood Woods there. So we're just hoping these, ship, these sheep shut up because it'd be noisy all day. But anyway, I'm getting into waffle mode already, aren't I? So I'm going to sit and chill. Watch that sunset, it's going to be a fantastic one. A few beers, we're a good pal. Enjoy the show, and I'll see you later. You got anything to say, Rooney? I'm just having a little couple of beers because obviously I haven't got many friends, so my one friend give us this can. So I put lemonade in it and make it last twice as long. It wasn't me. I didn't give you it. <laughs> yeah, you're not my friend. <laughs> Patreons out there, <laughs> if you'd like to buy us a can, not like the rest of them that want a coffee, I'll just have a can, <laughs> and I'll let you see us drink it.
Right, hello everybody. Well, it's time for to start prepping my tea. So basically what I've got is, I've got two, two uh, sterling steak, I think a sterling steak shower with some sort of um, butter and garlic and that inside of it. I've took them out of the package and I've put them into these little bags just to make it less rubbish for me. Take away. I've got some mushrooms and a potato, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, uh, Prep all that, peel it all off. Um, I might not actually peel it, I might, I might just leave it as it is actually and just cut it into little fine chunks. Do the same with the mushrooms, cut them in half, get them fried off. And uh, also inside of here, I've got some peppercorn sauce, which I'll leave there. And then I've got some uh, pre chopped onions. I'll fry a few of them off as well with the mushrooms and the potato um, and then start adding the, the steaks in with their sauce once it's all fried off together then what I'll do is I'll pour the peppercorn sauce off and just let it slowly marinate into the meat and all the rest of the stuff hopefully fingers crossed it all works out okay so um, I need something to prep on didn't I so anyway, what I'll do is I'll get it all prepped. Once I've got things starting to fry off, I'll bring you back. Otherwise it'll be a two hour cooking video because I, I take my time when I'm cooking. So I'll catch this in a little bit. And I think before I start cooking, I'm gonna open my last can. So happy days. And if you've just watched it, that sunset was absolutely amazing. Amazing. Right, I don't know how much the camera is picking up like, but as you can see, I've fried off the tatties. I've got my onions in and my mushrooms. So I'm just frying these all down now. All right, they're getting these reduced down and fried properly. Oh, it smells lovely. And then what I'm gonna do is, once I've got all these fried off, I'll take these out of the frying pan, put them into this plastic tub, then I'm gonna start frying off me, me steaks with the butter. And then I'll add these back in, and then I'll add me peppercorn uh, sauce, and let it marinate everything in, and just let it slow, slowly, uh, I'll turn the gas down, and just let it marinate for a little bit, and that'll get everything really, really nice and tasty. And then, I haven't brought a plate or anything, because I'm just gonna eat straight out of the frying pan. Right then, so I've got my two um, steaks in there now. One side was done and I've just flipped it over. So then I've added in the, all the um, potato, the onions, the mushrooms, and then I've put the pepper sauce on as well. So I'm just gonna let that all marinate in nicely. Um, and that's it. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna be finger licking good. Right, yeah, we'll have it then. This is me tea all done and dusted. I didn't take you through the full process of it, but I've got two nice, lovely steaks here and all the sauces. Now you think it tastes absolutely beautiful. Um, but I'm going to get this at, and then we're just going to sit and chill, and we're going to um, just talk about all sorts, me and uh, Rooney like. So I'll catch you in the morning. All right. So if you've been watching all the way through, thank you. There's plenty more to come tomorrow. Obviously, I might bring this back later on when I'm back under my shelter and I'm having my Bailey's hot chocolate. But other than that, see you later. Right, this is the last bit of footage for the night. So, I've got my traditional bit of Bailey's and a Galaxy hot chocolate. All mixed into this cup. I've got the kettle on the go. Uh, getting some water, enough water to fill that cup. Um, I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to get my head down get to sleep. It's now quarter past 12 at night. Okay. So Rooney's, Rooney's in bed, snoring his head off. 
bless him, he's, he's absolutely knackered like he'd done a night shift last night and never went to bed at all. So it's been a long day for him. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this drink, okay? Um, it's been a cracker night, I've enjoyed being out. It's lush and warm. I've only got like a, a little top on, a little fleecy top, a t-shirt, absolutely boiling. Um, and anyway, this is my pit for the night. I've got Rooney's bits and pieces here as well that we've never carried up the top. I'm sort of waffle, so catch us in the morning. I'm going to set my alarm for half four because the sunrise, I want to catch that because I've had a perfect sunset. So let's have a perfect sunrise. Fingers crossed. And I'll see you guys later on. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. I really do. All right. See you later. Well, good morning, everybody. As you can see, it's not a nice view this morning. It's uh, a bit smoggy. As they say, um, the wind, wind's picked up a little bit as well. Uh, top's not doing great, so, but it's it's still warm. Like it's definitely still warm. So at any rate, it's now quarter past six in the morning. So I'm just going to lie for another hour. Well, I may do. I may just get up actually. I'm not sure. But yeah, very warm night. This pillar, if you can see it, this technology pillar. I love it. It's so comfortable. It's it's probably the best pillar I've ever had. Um yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to waffle. I was hoping for a nice sunrise. I'm not going to get that. I uh, didn't get it this morning when I woke up. I had my alarm set. I woke up, seeing the state of the, um, the smog, and I just turned around and went back to sleep. Like, didn't even bother getting the camera out. <laughs> but anyway, get myself sorted. <sighs> Excuse me, and I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, the view this morning is not getting any better. Um, I'm going to start get myself up and get myself sorted, but um. I've just noticed that everything that's outside of my bivvy bag, I'm glad I put my me, me clothes in a dry bag because everything's got a bit, of, a bit of dampness to it. Obviously, it's qu it's quite mild. Um, there's a lot of condensation on the inside of my top as well. It's quite wet. You can see my hands. Um, so... These clothes are going to be nice and dry. These are the shoes that I've been wearing when I've been coming out and taking my boots off. Um, they're like sports, well it says it on there, like sports shoes. They're for like when you go in the water and all that. But you can get like, the air gets through them but they've got a nice um, sole on them. I think I may do a proper, proper little review on them but I'll tell you what. One of the best purchases I've ever bought for when you're sitting around a camp on a night time and you can take your boots off. So comfortable. Um, really, really impressed with them. Like So happy, happy days. I like, really like them. So it's now where... What time is it now? It's quarter seven. So I'm going to get myself um, a brew on and that. Uh, Get some porridge. I'll not bore you all that because it's just the same scenario that every morning when I get up, uh, get packed up, 
and check the area across there. I think I've got everything last night, like uh, all my rubbish and all that's in a little bag there. So, right. I'll get myself up and get sorted, start packing some of my stuff away because I've got to be home early this morning. Um, me and the wife have got a, a, a couple of uh, personal things to, to do. Um, so, it's quite a busy day. Quite a busy day. I think it'll be quite an emotional day as well. Like, but uh, I'm not going into that in any way. So, right. I'll catch you in a little bit when I get myself sorted before I start waffling and go into a little, little mode. Anyway, catch you later. Well, as you can see, the clag's still out. We've been seeing, uh, sitting watching the birds flying around. There's a, there's a big bird of prey flying around that keeps on flying over the top there. Um, next to where the castle, the castle's just over there, like, you kind of see it through all the clog, as you can see down here. No, it's not clearing any anymore, like, unfortunately. Right, so, anyway, we're all packed up, ready to go. This is the area where me and Rooney were sat last night. So you can see, nice and tidy, left, left it the way it was. Okay. Rooney's just up the top there, finishing off his final bits of packing. This is my location here, where I stop, or you can see there's a little bit of a flat patch here. All my Bergen's all nicely packed away, it's packed away better than what it was when I come. On the top, as we always do, what you carry in, you carry out. There's all my rubbish there, all my tins and everything, you can hear them. My packets and everything in there, and even some used toilet roll okay so that's all my stuff there Rooney's areas up there I'll just I'll leave him until he gets finished and then we'll show you his area was there where he camped actually we moved down into that dip to get out of the wind uh, this morning have his breakfast and that so he's just packing his stuff there so we'll quickly check his area as well okay um, this has been a really really nice location last night we were blessed with amazing weather uh, a fantastic um, sunset unfortunately no sunrise this morning like but another great night lovely weather lovely weather satin t-shirt probably most of the night i think so really really good one so um that's it really i've just got to do the final check on the top area it's just because we always like to show that we'll leave no trace if we're anywhere we've been okay so see us in a bit right so this is the area where rooney was last night nice and clean left it the way we found it actually it's a lot cleaner because there was loads of sheep poo all over there so he's actually tidied it up <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm saying it's a lot tidier than what it was when you got there because you moved all the sheep poo. But as you can see, Rooney's just about packed up there. And as you can see, that that's his bag of rubbish. Okay. So, it's a bit claggy. There's not much view to see and everything. So, this is going to be the end of the video. All right. So, once again, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one somewhere different something different again all right um it's not a very far walk either it, it was a nice nice little stroll but it's a bit uphill on the way back but my packs are a lot lighter like so happy days so i'll catch you on the next one see you later